Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my absolute favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. I've got some lipsticks with matte finishes, some with more glossy finishes, and then a couple just classic lipsticks in here as well. So hopefully there's something for everyone. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. This is Drugstore Maven, where I talk about all things drugstore beauty. If that interests you, definitely click that subscribe button and join me, and I'd love to have you. All right, the first one is not gonna be a surprise to those of you that saw my June favorites video. I raved about this one and my feelings have not changed. And it is the L'Oreal Rouge Lightweight Matte Lip Stain. This retails for $5.99 and whew, I love this stuff. It has a matte finish, but it's a super lightweight formula. It goes on like water. If you compare it to a regular matte liquid lipstick, it feels like you have nothing on your lips, but it still has a lot of staying power. I wouldn't say it's as much staying power as a matte liquid lipstick, but it's very comparable. It has a super thin applicator, so you can use this as your lip liner and go ahead and line your lips and then fill it in with the bigger part of the wand. I don't want to talk about this too long because I really just did in my June favorites. The only thing I'll say about this one is that I love it in the shade I create. To me, it's one of the best everyday nude colors. But because this is more of a matte lip stain and not a liquid lipstick, I don't think I would go for this so much in like a red or a shade that needs to look completely uniform and perfect. But this is an excellent formula for an everyday more natural looking lip color. All right, next up is the other matte liquid lipstick I have in this video. This one's a little bit more expensive at $15, but it is more like a traditional matte liquid lipstick, but it's still a lot less drying than most of the matte liquid lipsticks that I've tried. And it is the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipstick. This is formulated with avocado oil and hyaluronic acid. So it's not gonna dry your lips out, but it's going to last you all day long. This is a brighter color than what I typically go for. This is the shade Off Duty, but I think it's a really pretty summer color. It's kind of like a peachy nude, and I've been gravitating toward it quite a bit. It says they have a patent pending on this formula, and I can see why, because it really is one of the best matte liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. All right, next up is more of a traditional lipstick, and I love this lipstick formula but I also really love this one specifically for the shade. It's one of the shades that I'm wearing right now and it is the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipstick. This retails for $8 and comes in a ton of different shades. The one that I love is from the Collection Exclusive and this is where they teamed up with a bunch of different celebrities to come out with new lip colors. And this one is 370, it's called Jennifer's Nude and this is Jennifer Lopez's collaboration with L'Oreal, and this is just the most perfect nude shade for me. It's a nude with just a little bit of pink. I don't like super pink lipsticks, but this one just has a touch of pink, and it is a gorgeous everyday color. I don't know that they sell these collaborations anymore, but outside of the color, which I love, you can get your hands on it, but this formula is just like a classic lipstick, but it somehow lasts a really long time. It's somewhere between like a gloss staying power and a matte liquid lipstick staying power. It really does last for hours, but you will need to reapply it throughout the day. It's not gonna last you from nine to five. It's formulated with vitamin E and argon oil, so it does moisturize the lips, but it's not gonna be like a chapstick or super moisturizing formula. It's just got enough to where it's not gonna bring out the lines in your lips or any dryness that maybe you do have. Like I said, it's just one of the best classic lipsticks that you can find. All right, next up is one by Flower Beauty. This is the Petal Pout lipstick. I have mine in the shade Spiced Petal, which rumor has it, this is the dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So if that's something you've been eyeing, Maybe give this one a try instead and save a few extra dollars. This line has two different finishes. It has soft matte finishes and cream finishes. This one is a cream finish and is again, just like the L'Oreal one, more of that classic lipstick feel. It goes on incredibly smoothly and it just feels really luxurious. It feels really high end. It's super comfortable on the lips to wear all day long and really easy to reapply. I would say between these two kind of classic lipstick formulas, this one leans a little bit more matte than this one. So if you like that classic formula, but you want something that leans a little bit more on the matte side, you'd prefer this one. But again, if you like the lipstick formula and you want something that leans a little bit more satin or radiant, I would go with this one. All right, last but not least is one for those of you that like something that's like borderline lipstick and gloss. This formula is the one for you. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Shine Compulsion Lipstick. This is $7.99 and I have mine in the shade Baddest Beige. I currently have on JLo's Nude and then I have this layered on top of it. This is one of my all time favorite layering colors. It's called Baddest Beige and at least on my complexion, 
This is a little bit too light to be worn all on its own unless you have a lip liner, but it's the perfect color to kind of tone down any lipstick. If something's a little bit too pink or a little bit too dark, if you layer this on top, not only will it give it like a glossy finish, it also just tones the shade down. And it just leaves your lips with the most beautiful shine. It comes in 60 different colors. So if you want like a super pigmented gloss that's gonna last you a little bit longer, this formula is the one for you. Couple honorable mentions. They didn't make the top five, but I wanted to mention them. This new Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick is absolutely stunning. Again, really good glossy formula for those of you that want a shiny finish. I would say this is a good option, and I've heard it's a dupe for YSL. And then this L'Oreal Color Shine lipstick. Absolutely beautiful packaging. This comes in really pretty kind of spring colors, but of course I went for a nude. This is called Glossy Fawn. Another really good formula for that shiny, glossy finish. So you can't go wrong with any one of these. They all have very similar effects, but I would say of the three, this one's my favorite. And that is gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in my next one.